This is the afternoon drive, of course, a uh, beautiful Friday. Thank God it's Friday and I'm happy to be here uh, once again. Time check is 2.25 p.m. on the 24th of May 2024. Uh, how are you guys doing? I'm so sorry that we couldn't have the late morning show. A lot, a lot of persons were expecting me to come for the late morning show and do what I'm about to do, but nevertheless, it's fine. Yes, of course, I'm here for the afternoon drive and uh, beautiful indoor because I'm not just only here in the studio, I have someone special with me in the studio. This guy is great. Mm. He is wonderful. He has a wonderful uh, voice. His lyrical prowess is off the hook. I tell you something. I don't blab, I tell you something. When I make this hype, I make real hype. I'm not just hyping for nothing, but I'm hyping for real. He's not a person, but Peter the Rock. How we call it? Right, Virginia. Good afternoon, wife Virginia. Good afternoon, sugar boy. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm doing great. I'm doing really, 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 really great. So, what's uh, what's happening with you? Tell me. Talk to me. Uh, I'm fine. I'm okay. And uh, we just thank God for grace. Thank God for everything. Hmm. Um, it's God all the way. You know, God all the way. I just appreciate God and I also appreciate my fans mm -hmm. that have been listening to my songs, streaming my songs. You know, this is a platform. Thank you so much. Exactly. exactly. But of course, uh, the song you just listened to before I came on air was from Peter the Rock. I know go so far. Indeed, we are not going to suffer. But tell me something, Peter the Rock. What inspired I know go so far? Okay, I know go so far. <laughs> <laughs> because at first, uh, when you hear that song, what, what you hear that, or what you actually hear the name, I know go so far. The first thing that comes to mind is the popular uh, religious song. Uh, uh, you know, like you, know, you remember the song, yeah, 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 yeah. So when I first saw the song, I'm like really, I know go so far. What version of this am I going to listen to? But immediately I step, I, I laid my fingers on it and I put and I heard it and I said, wow, this is different from what I was expecting. Exactly. So tell me, what inspired it? Uh, you know, uh, this is coming from a place mm. where we have really seen things in life. We mm. have seen a lot. You know, this is coming from experience. This is coming from the things we have seen and the mm. uh, uh, experience of others. You okay. know, when you when I when I thought about how my mom suffered and raised us, mm. uh, indeed. I don't I don't want to all my children or anybody around me to go through that suffering. Mm. You know, that's how the um, the inspiration come and not go suffer and not go beg for food. Mm. Because I I know I'm uh, we are big in the family mm. but I I I we actually suffered, you know. Mm. So but then I just thank God. Uh this is a reality song and uh I got inspiration by what we've been through, mm, what we have seen so far. Mm. So this is just God. I don't go so far mm. for waiting. I don't really see, see for the things where we don't go through. Mm. You know, I'm part. Uh, if I say make I talk my story here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, understand. I, I can see. I can see. So, uh, how many years have you been in the industry right now? Uh, I think I just celebrated fifteen years on the stage January. Fifteen years. Yeah. Wow, that's a. I mean, that's a wholesome years, you know, in the industry. So that I mean, when that's, I started, that's when you started. When I started professionally. Professionally. Yes. Wow. Because I actually started uh, uh, music when I was hit. Eight, eight years. Yes, I discovered that I was already singing. I was singing in churches, singing mm. in school. You wow. know, I just caught your eye, you know, in school. Yeah. I, 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 they were, I was always at the front. Mm. Front, you know, even assembly, when we, in school, assembly yeah. ground, I was always singing uh, praises and uh, oh. worship right. in assembly. Because as I've been alive, make they always they put me for front now. <laughs> Any? So, I... I started when I was eight. I discovered that I was already singing. Then my voice was like a female voice, you know. Oh, you still uh, sound like a female. Don't mind. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's good. That's really good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. So, uh, I guess uh, this is not really not your first since you said you're celebrating fifteen years on stage. So I'm sure you have uh, 
lots of songs to your name now. So how many songs are you talking about right now? Of course, so, I can. I don't think I can count mm. except you. I want to take my time to count it <laughs> because there are some songs I perform on stage. Mm. That is not recorded yet. Okay, okay. Mind you, I also have gospel songs wow. that I've written because I sing in church. So, okay. both gospel songs, both uh, as the um, reality songs, uh, mm. contemporary songs, I yeah. do. If you know about the rich fifty, wow, uh, that I've really composed. Uh, <laughs> so I can't even remember some of my songs, but the one I know I've released in mm. my. In uh, 2014, I released my first indigenous album. Mm. So that was like eight tracks. Okay. Then in 2016, again, I released the second indigenous, indigenous album. The first track was titled When I Bomu. When I Bomu. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you are the bondage of the world. Many words. You are that the bondage of the world. You are that the bondage of the world. The world, yes. Oh. Then the second one was. Jesu do, Jesu do. Yeah, you should understand that one. Yes, eh? Jesu yes. do. Yeah, uh-huh. I get it, I get it. So, that one was released two thousand sixteen. Mm. So, since then, I just decided I don't want to. I don't want to just be doing anything just for doing sake. Mm. I although I work in the studio, I okay. do many things. I. I'm a music director. I I also produce, okay. uh, but okay. I just decide to. But now, since two years now, have been releasing songs by okay. songs, you know, and now I think it's up to twelve songs now. Yeah, uh, so this one is they are all classic and uh, classic. wonderful. I love, I love it. So now. Let's get to the next question, and I'm sure a lot of persons are waiting for this. Fingers are crossed, legs are crossed, ears are open, and I'm waiting to hear the story. Now, you are called Waifu Junior. Exactly. And yeah. a lot of persons are thinking, why the name of Waifu Junior? Now, is it that it's just a title you attached to yourself? Is there a relationship between you and uh, Professor Victor Waifu? Or what is it all about? How did it come to be? We want to know. Okay, uh, first, my full name is Peter Isoke Waifu. Okay. I'm from the family of Emezi, you know. Uh, the name of Waifu is not <laughs> within, I did not attach it. Mm. It's original, now blood. Mm. Uh, Professor Sir Victor Waifu is my father, like... Every other person address me to be, uh, mm. but he's actually my uncle. Oh, okay. You understand? Mm. He's actually my uncle, and many people don't know. They don't know, uh, but if you don't ask me, I will say. Okay. Uh, I cannot. You cannot call, ask me a uh, question and say. Uh, Sometimes for your father, and uh, then I will not say no. It's not my father. It's mm. my no. I can't interrupt you that way. Yeah. So except you ask me deep like this. Yeah. Do you understand me? So mm. South Victor Waifo is my uncle and my late father Clement Waifo mm. is the immediate elder brother to South Victor Waifo. Oh. Yeah. The immediate elder brother to serve the wife. My father was a musician, the first musician in wife of family. Oh, yes, my father, Clement Wife, who popularly known as Clemico, mm. he also impacted South Victor Wife musically and also impacted uh, the living legend near Benin, um, General Mickey Janga. Mm. If you know Benny, uh, indigenous musician, you should know General Mickey Jagger mm. and some others. But I don't really know about some others. But General Mickey Jagger, if he sees me, we call he call me his master because mm. my father taught him, and also not just he stayed with my father, so mm. he knows everything. You understand me? So, Savito Waifu imparted. Uh, Clement Waifo imparted Sabito Waifo and also left music in the 70s just for his younger brother to climb up. Wow. So my father left music 
in the seventeenth for Sabito Waifu. Mm. So I didn't I didn't just say it. I saw it on my dad's biography because my father also wrote a book. Huh? You understand me? So mm. my father was he left music and he went to school. When he to typewriter that time, whenever they see computer, mm-hmm. so it was typewriting. My father was was the junior in that typewriting school. Mm. You no, know? people were coming from different place to learn to see. You know, to come and learn typewriting. Mm. You know, so our house then, although I didn't really have this memory of, but I saw after. I saw those typewriting, yeah, the machines, all those, and everything. Yeah, yeah. I saw them, but I didn't really have. I, I didn't really have much memory about my father because I was just eight years old when he died. Wow, that's way. So wrong. I didn't even meet him doing music, but mm. my father was a good uh, trumpeter and saxophonist. My father also played for uh, Jim Lossy. Oh, yeah. Him, yes. Hmm. So, my father was a good trumpet. I was a good instrument, a multi instrumentalist. Wow. So, but he left music in the seventies, and today everybody, the families, they are surprised me. How I also now, you know, because now I did have the I did have the idea that my father I I did see my father playing music. Mm. So now the music is just resting on me. Wow. I grew up to see Sabito Alpha as my father. Mm. As my father. So he was there as my father. As a matter of fact, Sabito Alpha took my elder my late elder sister and my elder brother and trained them. Okay. So they were with him in the house. Oh. You understand me? So mm. if we trained my brother to university, uh, my sister got married, then when she was about to give birth, she she left us. You understand me? So Sabito Ivo has been there as a father figure. Mm. So not until when I started playing uh, learning music from the church, from my MD, my boss, mm. called uh, the golden boy, Mr. Owa Moses. Mm. He trained me on piano. I'm a good pianist. Okay. So from there, I learned how to play guitar from there. So before I now started picking in chess, make a near this my daddy where we safe. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. Make a near my daddy where we let me near. Naturally, me or in the Bini. I would, I, I can't call my uh, my daddy's brother uncle. Now, daddy, yeah, yeah, now with the call, now with the address, daddy, that was that. Anybody that is my daddy's uh, uh, brother or my uncle, we address them as daddy. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I cannot call anybody my uncle. Mm. Even I also have my my uncle, my daddy's uh, honorable justice wife, a retired judge of uh, Nigeria. Yeah. You understand me? So I have a lot of them. Mm. So this is when I started coming close. I think in 2010, oh, I started coming close to uh, Savita Waifu, going to the house in holidays. Yeah. I also mingle with the uh, music uh, students that is, uh, that is there, but also having music academy yeah. in the house. I so I was always there. Holiday, I spent my holiday with them. Mm. Then when one school wants to resume, go back. Oh, you understand? So that's how. Not until one day and I told him, I said, Sir, I want you to train me on guitar. Mm. Not, you know what he told me? He said, This year, we were, we were in January. He told me, He said, This year I'm not available. Because I went there to wish him Happy New Year. Mm. So he said, This year I'm tied up. As you can see, I'm even busy now. I actually was busy. He said, He doesn't have chance in this year. I look up, I look down, say, eh? Okay, I waited. Then the following year, January, I also went to meet him. I said, Daddy, you said I should come back next year, which we are in the year now. He didn't even make any word. He just went upstairs and brought out two guitars. Mm. He came down, he gave me one. He took one, started training me. Wow. He started training me, started giving me some lectures and whatever. Then thereafter, 
He gave me my first electric guitar. Wow. He gave you first electric guitar. Yeah. So that's impressive. Yes. So how did you how did you feel when he handed you the electric guitar? Because we know him to going to be a guru in electric uh, in the use of electric guitar. So how did you feel? It's more it's, it's more like a mantle given to I'm you. A, not it's, smart it's, enough. It's, it's just like our God gave all the guiding to Adam. Mm. <laughs> That's how I felt. Um, uh, it just be like say, uh, they don't gi- they don't give me power. Mm. Just be like say they don't give me what I never deserve. Mm. Although it was it was, it's just I anything coming from him is just a blessing to me. Wow. Every moment I spend with him is a blessing to me. The first time he sent me to go and buy a research card, um, I was jumping. I said, Daddy <laughs> sent me a message today. You understand I me? You. I was jumping. Daddy sent me a message today. So that man is a spirit. Mm. I, will, I will put it that way. Because it's, it's, it's very hard for him to come just for you to see him. I will mm. put it that way. Then... Then for him to not have personal relationship with you mm. is another thing. thing yeah. So me, it was I did not just love him because it was my he was my father. I love him because I'm a fan. Mm. That's the first. So because because I'm a fan, I will never be entitled to anything. Okay. You understand me? So if I have loved him as my father or see him as a father, I will be entitled. Mm. To say, yeah, I deserve this. I thought they try and I supposed to give me this, supposed to introduce me. But no, I was never entitled to anything whenever I'm with him or whenever I come to him for anything. Mm. I was never entitled because I was a fan mm. before I realized that is my blood. That's quite impressive. So, you know, I um, mean, too educative, I say, and informative, actually, because uh, many persons do not even know this. At all. Right? But it's actually good to feel that. So, how has Sir Professor Victor Weinfeld's song, you know, affected or influenced you in your style of music? Because of, you see, your style of music is quite different from the contemporary Nigerian, you know, artists that we have outside, especially yeah. in Benicity yeah. and, uh, you know, environment. So, how has these uh, great, you know, musicians, art influence your style of music yeah it's music um as a bit of music life influenced my kind of music because from a to z 